to everybody. Uh, this is about thanks to Kim Fox, the Jussie Smollett story will not die. And as you can see here in the picture is Kim Fox, the Cook County State's Attorney. Starting March 27th, the day after the office of Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox abruptly and mysteriously dropped charges against TV actor Jussie Smollett. More than 180 columns, editorials, and stories touching on the case have appeared in the Tribune, Sun-Times, and Daily Herald. Yeah, so um, it started March 27th, the day after the office of Kim Fox had um, abruptly and mysteriously dropped charges against Jussie Smollett. And there was 180 columns. Um, also, of course, it appeared in the Tribune, Sun Times, and Daily Herald. That's about 175 more appearances in print than readers would have seen in prosecutors had simply required Smollett to admit wrongdoing in exchange for larceny or in felony charges that he staged a hate crime against himself by hiring two acquaintances to pretend to attack him January 29th. While yelling at racist homophobic slurs and a pro-Trump slogan. So there was 175 more appearances in print. And that's a whole lot. Now they want um, Jossie Smollett to a myth of the wrongdoing, which I doubt very much that's ever going to happen. And of course, um, they're still saying that he staged a hate, hate crime against himself, which I find it hard to believe at all. And of course, the two acquaintances, they had um, um, want him to confess about that being attacked, to pretend to attack him on January 29th. I, I don't think that's going to happen because, you know, I don't know how many times I got to keep saying this. The mainstream media lies. And so does the Chicago Tribune. And if you clowns want to keep believing the lies of what they're saying, then you're just as totally corrupt as they are. Instead, of course, controversy flared when Smollett rushed to the microphones in the courthouse lobby to proclaim his innocence. Public officials and pundits led the general call for an explanation from prosecutors. Yeah, so Jesse Smollett rushed to the microphones in the courthouse lobby to proclaim his innocence. And he keeps saying that he's innocent and that I believe that he's innocent. But how can you people just sit up here under my video saying, oh, well, he's guilty this and that. No, get us, stay far away from my channel as much as you can. And of course, um, the, and of course, there was a call for an explanation from prosecutors as well. In the case, was strong that Smollett lied to police and prompted the expertise of significant investigatory resources. As Fox said initially, why did she let him walk without so much as a my bad? Well, that all depends on how that one went. So Fox didn't it, said initially, why did she let him walk? Well, we don't know why she let him walk, but they still want him to, Jossie Smollett, to admit he lied. And Jossie Smollett is not going to admit to that because as long as he maintained his innocence, there's nothing that could be done about it. And if the case had weaknesses, as Fox later hinted, what were those weaknesses? Well, we don't know what the weaknesses were, but Fox has hinted about it, uh, sort of speak. And who knows what it was? Simple questions, really. And Fox's failure to answer them are has prolonged this story in numerous ways, prompting more than 2,000 media mentions Worldwide after March 27th, according to the Nexus database. So, yeah, so um, Fox's failure to answer them, I don't know. I mean, she's been trying to answer them as much as she can, and, of course, they're calling her a failure. And, of course, 
the 2000 media mentions worldwide, which they're a bunch of liars, after March 27th, in the wake of the controversy and anger, the city filed a civil suit against Smollett to recover the cost of investigating his alleged hoax. Fox herself has asked the Cook County Inspector General to look into how her office handles the case, and former state appellate Judge Sheila O'Brien in, is in court doggedly pushing for a special prosecutor to take over. So this judge is trying to push a special prosecutor to take over the case. And I doubt very much if Kim Fox is ever going to allow that at all. Um, she's also um, having the Cook County Inspector General to look into how the office handled the case. Fox's document dump Friday evening of more than 2,000 pages of related emails and text messages and apparent belated effort at damage control has only made things worse. So, so now they're saying that it made it even worse. What 2,000 pages have been related to the emails, text messages, and whatever else. These initial documents show that Fox didn't want to waste any capital on a celebrity case. That might be a distraction and step back from direct oversight in the case because of rumors that she was related to small to Smollett. Yeah, so all this is nothing but a distraction. That's all it is. And of course she didn't want to waste any more time on Jussie Smollett. So this is why the the um, charges were dropped and his records were sealed. But thanks to the judge, he ordered for those records to be unsealed. And of course it was. And, um, and also they're saying that she was related to Smollett. If that is true, then what part of the family part is Smollett? side on or Kim Fox's either the it's either on Smollett's mother's side or what they show that the prosecutors under Fox were negotiating with Smollett's lawyers about the language to be used in court when charges were dropped so as not to leave the impression that the resolution of the case was a deal between attorneys which would indicate guilt as Risa Lanier, chief of the Criminal Prosecutions Bureau, wrote. So, yeah, so they don't, so, you know, obviously with the courts, you know, people can't help it with their potty mouths. And, you know, our, substituting words is more better than just coming out with the F-bomb or whatever. So, and of course, the charges were dropped so as to not leave the impression of the resolution, obviously. Lanier was also mentioned in a document dumped Tuesday, I mean Thursday, I'm sorry, from the Chicago Police Department. And of course, you know the Chicago Police Department is obviously, obviously corrupted. Because when you got police officers are lying on the police report, covering this up, covering that up, like they did with Laquan McDonald in 2014. That's what they do. They cover up everything so people can't know the truth about anything. A detective's report in that trove read that once Smollett was indicated by the grand jury on February 28th, the Chicago Police Department was informed by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office that they could no longer investigate the crime. Lanier informed detectives that she felt the case would be settled with Smollett paying the city of Chicago $10,000 in restitution and doing community service. You know, so the, there was, they just did not want the, um, the case to be investigated anymore. And of course, you know, Jesse Smollett had forfeited over the $10,000 bill and he did two days worth of, um, community service, which I think that that's a fair thing to do instead of sending him to jail for three years. Smollett did indeed forfeit his cash bond of $10,000 
Though his lawyer said it wasn't a fine, but a contribution by a dedicated citizen, and he spent two days volunteering at Rainbow slash Push headquarters in what was later described as community service. So yeah, that's all Jesse Smollett did was forfeited over the $10,000 cash bond, and he did volunteer at the Rainbow Slash Push Headquarters. And that was all he did. But other than that, he hasn't done nothing else. Imagine that. A month before the stunning announcement in court that caught the mayor, the police chief, and everyone in the media by surprise. Police reports show a top Fox deputy predicted the outcome while calling a halt to further investigation in the case. So yeah. So now there was a halt on the further investigation and um the I I don't know which mayor it is, the former mayor or the now mayor, one of the two. They um they they caught the mayor, the police chief and everyone in the media by surprise. So yeah, that's what happened. The public's trust is paramount to our work, said Fox, in a statement released with the documents Friday. It is my sincere hope that this transparency and the ongoing investigation of the Cook County Independent Inspector General will provide guidance and lessons on how to serve you better. I am sorry that despite the best intentions, our efforts was were less than what we was required of the moment. So yes, they apologized for what was their intentions and that, but the Inspector General will provide guidance of this case and hopefully something will come of it. And of course, you know, they had to put a halt on it because what was there further to investigate? Sorry is a good start, but when questions are b still being raised faster mm -hmm. than she's answering them, more than two months after this PR pratfall, she hasn't earned the right to use the word transparency or to ask for the public's trust. Yeah, so Kim Fox didn't ask for transparency. She hasn't earned it, and she has not... Um, as mm -hmm. for the public's trust at all. So so she's doing what she can to answer in them. And it, I mean, when you get bombarded by a lot of questions, you try to answer them as much as you can, but this is way too much for her. Her failure to sit down with the media and to answer every question honestly and at length and to wait instead of internal investigations to conclude has prolonged and thus deepened the controversy over a story that should now be history, not a current event. Yeah, so this should have been history a long time ago because of all the lies that are coming out by the Chicago Tribune. And of course, you know, Chicago is corrupted as usual. They don't tell the truth about nothing. The Chicago Tribune don't tell the truth about nothing. And, and, you know, for the people that are saying, oh, well, he did this and did that. No, you don't know nothing about it. I've been following this case for a long while now. Some of you are sick of this story. I know it was at worst a minor incident in a city plagued by deadly violence. We have so many bigger problems than a Hollywood star thumping his nose at our police department. Yeah, so they're they're just getting tired of it. If, well, if they would have left the um record sealed, then none of this would have came out more. But instead, nope, the judge just wanted to unseal the records, see what more they could dig in, and see what more accusations they could throw in on him. But don't blame the media. Fox is the one keeping this story alive. So that is what Kim Fox is doing, is keeping the story alive. So you really can't blame the media, but I can blame the media for making up lies that are not true. And also I could blame 
the Chicago Tribune for making up lies that are not true because this is all a distraction. That's all it is. But if you clowns want to sit up here and say, oh, well, he deserved to go to jail, this and that, wrong. Put your butt in jail first and see how you like it when you're being accused of something else. That is not true. Leave your comments below. I am out.